Welcome back. It's the third. A Thursday. And yesterday was eventful. He's awake now. Let's meet tonight on the fourth floor. Got it. All right. I'll see you then. Yeah, we need to have... Several conversations. I, I would say a conversation with him, but it's like, no, nah, I probably need a conversation, a break to process everything, then come back, ask more questions, and again and again, because it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot. Damn you, Ryoji. <sighs> Evening. It looks like we're all here. Are you okay, Ryoji kun? Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks. Besides, I have more to tell you guys. And we have a lot of questions. Ryoji kun. Then allow me to jump right in. We have many questions that need answers, after all. Yep, here we go. Yesterday, you said the shadows were here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. What do you mean by that? <laughs> that would be my question. Just what does that mean? Tell us more about this. What happens if she returns? The maternal being is called Nyx. Right, now I can talk about what I want to talk about. That There is actually a explanation around Nyx and what the shadows are which was explained in supplementary materials it was a book so I, I am wondering if they're actually going to bring some of that into the story here in reload don't know if they will but it would be interesting if they did so you have a greater understanding maybe it could be done in like a side thing maybe in like the monad passages you find stuff that explains it or something like that it would be nice. It would be nice because there's some very interesting stuff. Very interesting stuff. Who the hell's Nyx? Nyx is the mother of shadows. In ancient times, she bestowed death upon this world. Because there, what do you mean the mother of shadows? What does that mean? How did that happen? If she awakens, the world will be swallowed by darkness. And all life will perish. All life? Are you saying everyone will die? It'd be more accurate to say that we'll all surrender the will to live. Wait, are, are you talking about the lost? Previously on the lost, everyone seems to have arrived at the same conclusion. Every single human being will become like the lost, leading to the extinction of mankind and the end of the world. The fall. But there's still a way to stop it from happening, right? <sighs> I'm gonna take that as a no. What? Don't tell me there's nothing we can do. I'm sorry. Wait, why are you apologizing? Because there's nothing we can do. Are you saying there's no way to stop it? That's right. You heard the bell. That's when it was all decided. I'm the appraiser. The appraiser of death. The fact that I'm here at all proves the fall is coming. The fall is coming? Everyone is at a loss for words. Yeah, you would be. You got to process the fact that, yeah, everything will end. Everything. It's inevitable. The entire human race will become members of the lost. Ryoji's existence confirms the impending extinction of mankind. I mean, I'd be asking a lot more questions right now. All the dots. What? When will it happen? I don't think you'll live to see next spring. But that's barely any time at all. <sighs> uh, 
Uh, uh, what are you guys freaking out about? Nick Schmix, am I right? All we gotta do is win and we're golden. Persona 4 golden. Wait. And we haven't lost a single fight yet, have we? Yeah. Junpei's right. You can't win. Well, we'll go down fighting then. When you're up against Nyx, power doesn't mean a thing. It's like trying to fight the inevitable. Like death or the flow of time. We shall kill time itself. Nyx can't be defeated. She just can't. What? This is bullshit! This is all so sudden. Everyone is visibly distraught. I was born from a collection of shadows, but now I have a human form, so I can talk with you, laugh with you, cry with you. It's the gift I received for existing within him. And because of that, I can give you a choice. A choice? Nix's arrival is unavoidable now, but you can choose to live in peace until she arrives. You just have to kill me. That... That's a hell of a choice there, mate. If the appraiser disappears, all recollection of the Dark Hour would go with me, and that would erase any memories of this hopeless reality. There'd be no way for you to remember anything. When the fall comes, it'll happen in an instant. You won't have to suffer at all. We'll forget everything? I'm saying you can go back to your normal lives. And by doing that, you might buy a little time and delay the fall too. Technically, I'm the same as Nyx, so I can't be killed. But thanks to him, there's a part of me that's become human. So if it's done by his hand, then it may be possible. Yoji-kun... If you don't kill me, everything will stay just as it is. With no hope for salvation, you'll live every day paralyzed by the fear of your impending death. Like, the, the, the more I play Persona 3, the more I notice all the themes going on in, in this game and all the little subtle aspects. It's, it's very interesting, this choice that's being presented to you. Like, would you want to know that death is coming soon? Or what, what would you like to live in ignorance? And just go about your day and then boom. It's over. W which choice would you make if you were given that choice? Hmm. It's interesting. Interesting. And I don't want to put you through something like that. Um, I don't like either choice. Yeah. That's the issue as well. Like, both choices are really bad. I know. I don't want my memories to be erased. I mean, forgetting all this would be like trying to hide from the truth. Is that really such a bad thing? Yeah. Again, it's that aspect of... If this is inevitable, what would your choice be? And it's... Ooh. I don't know. If you don't do this, all that awaits is despair greater than you can possibly imagine. You don't understand the terror of certain death. Don't make your decision without at least thinking about it first. Uh, why is this happening? You don't have to decide right now. There's still some time. December 31st, New Year's Eve. You have until then to think about it. After that, I'll dissolve into the blackness of the dark hour and lose my physical form. I would question how you know that, but yeah, you, you've got all your memories back, etc. So you're more aware of what's going on. Yachi. When Nyx arrives, I'm going to disappear anyway. So please, 
Don't worry about me. I'll be back when New Year's Eve rolls around. Hey! Ryoji, wait! Stop, Jinpei-kun! I felt Ryoji-kun's presence vanish just now. There's no point in chasing him. He's gone. So we just walked out the room for show. Basically. Ryoji-kun. I guess... He'll be back. All the darts. Ryoji's revelation was all too devastating. I'd, I'd still question it so much, though. Like, e even though we got all that information, I'd question it from that aspect of... How can we trust him? If he is essentially part of Nyx and everything going on... And he says the fall is going to happen, why would you trust him? There's no way to know that he's he's not lying and just trying to bring about the end. You guys have been lied to before. Ikutsuki, he was on your side. You'd, you'd raise questions, more questions, try and find more answers. And see if you could find answers elsewhere as well. The world will soon perish. Mankind is destined for extinction. A difficult decision lies before me. Death is inevitable. I think what the game's reaching towards, though, is this aspect of... They sense it themselves. They know it's coming. They know he's right. As opposed to they, they need the answers. It's just that sort of confirmation of the feelings you've had of this thing that's coming. It's this. I think that's what it's going for. The appraiser truly did deliver a death sentence to us all. All the dots. Can't think clearly right now. How do you even choose the way you want to die? Yeah, again. It's just... Would you want to know? And if you had the choice to not know, would you want that taken away? Ugh. Oh, well, uh, back to normal now, everyone. Let's carry on. Very well. What we got around? Oh, limited set meal today. All right, well, let's check, see if we can get magic up, because we may as well. End of the world's coming, everyone. End of the world. Don't worry about it. Well, well do or, or don't. Punch boxer. No. Um, In terms of socialings, we don't need to get anyone... An offering, do we? We don't, we, don't, we don't need that. So what could we do? What could we do? There's nothing to do here. May as well see if there's anything else we could... Use on the computer. Let's see what else we got. Um, Pickup line master. Thinking power. Hmm. Not sure. Well, I don't want that. Let's let's just go with this ninja fan site note then. Let me see what the URL leads to. Ninja hideout. It looks like a foreign forum where people post about ninjas. Ninpo ninja research score two two two. Looks like people are serious about becoming real ninjas. I'll take a look. No nin nin. Ninjas have unique breathing methods such as Uta Ibuki, Okinaga, and more. I found interesting breathing techniques that ninjas use for long distance travel. Maybe I can use this to run swiftly like a ninja myself. Oh! Ambush has been enhanced. Oh! The amount of time. I thought it was going to lead to stats. The amount of time needed to dash before being able to ambush has been decreased. Oh! Not bad. Not bad. It's gotten late. I should head back to the dorm. Again, I keep doing that. Uh, to my room. Yeah. I 
do like this part of the story, though, again goes with the ideas of what Persona 3 is about. Death and the, the fact it's coming and what do you do knowing that it's coming? Because it's coming for us all at some point. So how do you approach that? How do you think about that? How, how do you fight it? it all these things. It's, it, it's what makes Persona 3 so good. I can hear people talking. I heard some people saying that apathy syndrome is nothing to worry about. Yeah, exactly. I heard the same thing. They're saying it puts people at ease, right? Think it's some kind of new religion? I think I get what they mean, though. What? No way. Are you seriously falling for that? It's all a scam. The first bell is rung. Yes. The bell. After school. Okay, class is ended for today. Let's see what we got around. So we got you two requests. Oh, let's go have a look at Elizabeth then. Good day. Oh, is there something I can assist you with? Are you accepting a request? Bring me my Christmas present. Christmas has brought good cheer to everyone recently. I hear you may even receive a present during this period. Oh yes. A figure called Santa supposedly flies all over the world, giving gifts to those considered nice. However, I have yet to receive mine. I believe he must have forgotten it, or worse, misplaced it. May I trouble you to pick up my present from this Santa? By all means. Uh, of course. By all means. Progress report. I will await a report of success. Bring the progress report? Did you need anything else? A shame. I'm terribly sorry, but I'm afraid I'll have to wait for another day. Okay. Turn down my invitation. Anyway. Very well then. All right, so. Yeah, something at the strip mall then, for that quest. Gotta find the Christmas present. Ah, exclamation up there, hello. Hmm. You there, this may seem sudden, but do you want to be Santa? Santa? Well, just between you and me, I'm THE Santa who makes kids' wishes come true on Christmas. And you can't really tell when I'm dressed like this. I'm actually looking for someone to help me with my merry duties right now. It's a special job, but we're always short on staff. What do you say? Want to give it a try? I'll do it! Great. Let's get on with it. But first, one question for you. Can you show me proof that you've done something good for the world? Something good I've done for the world? If I rescue someone from somewhere dangerous, maybe he'll acknowledge my deed. Oh. Come to think of it, I received a thank you letter. Oh yeah! From a missing person I rescued. There we go! Ages ago we got that. Hmm. Is there something you want to show me? I show the person claiming to be Santa a thank you letter. I see, so you rescued a missing person. Putting yourself on the line to help others is not something everyone can do. Fantastic, you passed the test. Here, take this. Santa hat. Congratulations, you're now a certified Santa. Apprentices only get that hat, though. So right off the bat, here's your first task. Deliver this to someone who needs it. This year's work is pretty much taken care of already. You can start working hard for next year. Well, I'll see you when the time comes. Merry Christmas. Oh, and a Happy New Year. Yes. Right, so. Back to Elizabeth, then. That was quick. Well, I say quick, but you needed to have got that letter ages ago. Good day. Right, so. Are you accepting a re Let's hear the result. Ah, so you finally brought my Christmas present. Then, without further ado, Elizabeth took not the present but the Santa hat and put it on. Of course she did. I see. One must first become Santa before partaking in Christmas. Marvelous. I suppose that experience itself is the most valuable gift of all, is it not? I, I brought an actual gift. Is that true? Oh, is that so? My apologies. However, I have taken quite a liking to this hat, so you may have the present. <laughs> Considered a Christmas present from the one and only Elizabeth Claus. Incense box. All right then, and a ruby. Wait, 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 Go on, look around, um, go on, look around. A ruby for that. 
How many have you decided? All right, I'll trade you for this. Oh! I got it! I got it! Yes! I got it! I'm so happy. Everything good? How Everything's good. Right. So, item. Mega Danger Dolan. Right, so... Black Frost. Question is, where do we want to put it? Because it's very much like... I like the crit chance. I like the resist light, obviously. I like the fire boost, because we got a fire skill there. Might get rid of the dark. No, 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 no. Maybe I'll eventually get fire back here. And jack-o'-lantern. So we'll move to changing you from fire. That's my plan. Because it is just like, yeah. Like, ah, deal severe almighty damage to all foes. I got it. I'm so happy. Ah, uh, I need to get rid of that now. Need to get rid of that. Is there anything that I like, can increase? Do, what do I have skill card wise? Hmm. Like, maybe I could put that on it? Light insta-kill to all foes? Not sure. Hmm. Like, something that could help me deal a lot more damage would be very nice. I've already got that elsewhere. Hmm. Got the fire boost there. So I got the fire boost. I could, I could again, start moving King Frost. Not King Frost. Jack-O-Lantern back towards fire, which would make sense. Like, that might be an idea. Yeah, I know. I'm just looking. I was looking at the skills, game. Because we move from foul breath. Because it's, it's, it's like that doesn't really work with you too much. Let's, let's start with this. Let's start with this. Fire boost there. Because then Recarm, I'd probably change out and change out some of these as well. Actually, thinking about it, that would be better than what you've got. There we go. I just bring you back in with the fire. Just need to get a fire skill now. Got the multi-target on that one as well. Hmm. Because at the moment, the only fire one I've got there is Miragi. I mean, I'll get it in. It's, like, it's not great, obviously. I want to get better than that. But that's the plan. That's that's the plan there. Um. Also, also, could I actually get that somewhere else? Why would I want to get it somewhere else, thinking about it? I don't need to have that on other personas, really, do I? No, no. What are we doing? I've got distracted. We got we got uh, quests and stuff. I got distracted by that because I got very excited because of that. I got the ruby. Anyway, so we got Fuka, Mitsuru, and Bebe. Ah, Fuka or Mitsuru? That's the question. Let's go here and now. So Fuka, you're at eight. Mitsuru... I mean, it was right. Right there. <clears throat> I'm thinking Fuka. Go with Fuka. Let's go. Hello. You know. Yuki-kun, are you busy today? If not, do you think we could chat on the roof for a bit? Yes. Let's chat on the roof for a bit. Uh-huh. Thanks. I actually really enjoy when we get to talk up there. Um, please don't laugh at this, okay? The other day, I let Yukari-chan try a new dish I made. Oh, how did it go? She liked it so much, she ended up eating it all. Not bad at all! So I told her it was meant to return the favor for what everyone's done for me. But she got really confused and asked me what favor this was about. It didn't seem like she had any idea what I was talking about, 
so I told her the whole story. And when I finished, she burst out laughing. I can probably understand why. She told me I didn't need to do anything like that. She said, when you're friends, you don't keep score. That's a very Yukari thing to say. I mean, she's right. I've been lying this whole time. To you and to myself. I don't think it was actually ever about repaying everyone. I am grateful, but that's not what I really wanted to say. What I really want is just to be with everyone. Forever. Aww. The truth ended up being so much simpler, and I just wanted to make that clear. I've just never had the confidence to be honest about my feelings. So I wanted to say I'm sorry for dragging you into this lie. And I know I don't really have the right to ask this, but... I hope you and I can continue to be friends. Of course, it is to us. <laughs> yes, here is to us. I think I'm going to try and be more accepting of who I am. There's the boat in the distance again. And I'm not going to tell myself I'm worthless anymore. Mainly because you're not worthless. You're just not. Because I have such wonderful friends all around me now. Fuka revealed her honest feelings to me. It seems we've grown closer. Yeah. Rank 9. Would you maybe like to try cooking together sometime? Oh, of course, of course. I never asked because I assumed I'd be wasting your time. But I've always wanted to try cooking with a friend. Could be fun, could be fun. Hmm. Uh, sure thing, sure thing. Yes, thank you. I like the little clap she did. <laughs> I can't wait. And if we do a good job, it'd be nice if we could share what we made with everyone else. I spent the day talking with Fuka. I should head back to the dorm. Alright, what we're doing tonight? Can we get the magic? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, hey. So, like, what if everything yesterday was all just some crazy dream, you know? All the dots. Uh, sorry. Probably not, though. Uh, probably not. Probably not. Ooh. He wants to get a lovely brushing. But we need to see what games we have available. I need to see if Fuka's going to rank up again. Oh, dear. There's so much lost around. And you're on the fountain. So even stuff like the um, trash is building up as well. All the rubbish. Come on, magic. No, agility. Oh, dear. Right, what do we want to do then? I honestly think we should see if anyone's around here. Like, there's got to be no one upstairs, right? No. Okay, so if, if no one's around, let's just do another Fuka one to be sure. Because then we can pretty much guarantee we'll get a rank up and finish Fuka's. 